Got some old 3030 cases here and a fender washer and several ear plugs. What can I do with them? Well, if I mixed up some JB Weld and buttered the bases of the cases, set them around there like this. Actually, if I used my cylinder here, it might look better. Kind of gives away what I'm planning to do. Got JB Weld on here, you can imagine that. You can let it set overnight. And what you end up with is a device that looks like this. So then, what you can do is Make you up however many stages you're going to shoot the cowboy match times two, be it six stages, you need 12. Ten stages, you need 20, I guess you'd say. You take the earplugs. Now you got several however many you need for the match made up. Between the stages when you got a load. Take cylinder, invert it. There you go, you put your wads and your balls on there and you use a press to press the press the balls in place and your Ready to cap and go. Obviously, with a cowboy match, you're only going to want to charge five. I'm thinking maybe about loading a, actually a spar point bullet or a bullet in here on one of the six ones, and that would, would make a good lead in, although you really don't need it. But it would keep you from loading six. Well now, you use this to charge your cylinder with, and you put your wads in on top of the powder, and you got your balls sitting there. You'll need a press to press the balls in place, because you're obviously going to take this and put it back in the, in the gun. You'll need a, a cylinder press to press the balls home. Uh, my research shows that you're just wasting your money buying the cheap one and the ones that actually work and hold up cost a good little bit of money and they're no doubt worth it. So I got to thinking what can I do with a odd die, a shell holder, a washer, a few other parts and that's some whatnot to make some kind of an adapter. Well that could be a, put that in a regular C press and end up being a, be a plunger part of a ball seating ram. Shell holder welded onto a slug of metal with a washer offset. Could turn out to be something ugly, looks like this. This is just a proof of concept. I'm not real good at metal work anymore. What I've done is welded a shell holder that was an extra one onto a slug of metal. And then I JB welded this washer on here, which is kind of a heavy uh, half inch washer. I had to open this up here and these uh, ring holes here correspond with the uh, safety pins on the cylinder. So this 
just in here like this, and then that indexes so that you can go from one to the next. Now what that allows you to do is you go to a garage sale or someplace, or you already have one, a C-Press, I'm not going to be able to mount this and demonstrate it working, but I think you can trust me it does. And, and install this into that. And maybe kind of rinky dink. Put your cylinder in there. Indexes. And we'll push the ball in. And then you can lift and turn it a little slightly. And it'll drop into place and the next one and so on. Uh, I haven't modified the press. Uh, the die is still usable. I, did, I think that's a powder drop die or something or other. But uh, no, I think this is a jump die that I already experimented something on and made this little device. I'm going to do some more work reducing it around and painting it and stuff. But, the idea is to take uh, take this to the range with me and speed clamp it to a, a, a loading bench somewhere and then have my kit of uh, these, maybe like I said, set of pegs to rack them up on. And uh, of course when they're done with them, just throw them in the bag or something. That's the concept anyway. Okay, excuse the mess. I'm up here in my little man cave here. I have this press mounted on a little uh, arts and crafts table stand. It's not attached to the wall or anything, so it's not nearly as uh, good a condition as if you had a regular bench press. Regular bench to mount this on is dirty, but it'll simulate probably what you'll find when you get to the range. So. I've got the cylinder all packed, ready to, to uh, seat the balls. And this is awkward because I'm not seated right where I can handle this. There we go. And uh, I may take a longer bolt and put like a uh, shifting knob up here because it looks like you're going to have to have a little bit more brace to Sorry, bump the camera to be able to force them balls in there the other side. And uh, there we go. Loaded and ready to shoot. Well, I've got a cabinet first, but obviously you don't do that to get to the loading table. 